Um, Donna would like to know, when do you know you are ovulating with PCOS? Okay, so with PCOS, that's a, a eponym for polycystic ovary syndrome. And PCOS is um, often underdiagnosed. Uh, in the old days, before we had hormones and ultrasound assays 50 years ago, it was called Stein-Leventhal syndrome, and it was associated with obesity, oily skin, and so hirsutism, facial hair. And that would represent a tiny percent of people that really have PCOS. So PCOS really means you're not ovulating or you're ovulating late in the cycle. So let's say you're not ovulating on day 14. Let's say you're ovulating uh, on uh, day 20. Well, those eggs are not going to be as good or as fertilizable as if you have regular 28-day cycles, ovulate on day 14, menstruate on day 28, and that's day one on day 28. So PCOS is commonly associated, ironically, with a huge number of eggs, too many eggs. Women that have high antrophollicle clamps and high AMHs and huge numbers of eggs will suppress their FSH in the first part of the cycle on day one, and so they never really recruit a dominant follicle. So they have these irregular cycles. So irregular cycles uh, is often a sign that you have too many eggs, not too few eggs. And then the question is, you know, how do you, how do you deal with that? How do you treat that? Well, typically when you try to treat PCOS with just stimulation without IVF, too many follicles develop and it's dangerous and there's a risk of multiple pregnancy. So frankly, I think that the best way to deal with PCOS is IVF and transfer just one or two embryos, no more than two, and freeze all the extras. That way you can stimulate appropriately and not have to have this fear, oh well, geez, there four follicles, uh, well, do we cancel this or do we do IUI or what do we do? I, I think IVF turns out to be a safer way to do it. And, and frankly, uh, nowadays, uh, we can transfer just one embryo and have extremely high pregnancy rates and not even, not even worry about transferring two in, in the current era. So I think IVF is a safer way to deal with PCOS than just ovulatory stimulation.